How to tie the Chinese button knot, a rather decorative knot similar to a diamond knot. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my rope laid out in front of me. This is going to be my working end and the standing part is on the right hand side here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to just separate it out a little bit like that. And then with my left hand, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it between my thumb and finger there and allow it to roll over once. And then once it's rolled over once like so, so it's actually going around over itself and then underneath at that point there. And then I'm going to roll it again for a second time so that it passes over the standing part. Now that it's passed over the standing part, just open it up a little bit and you can now see we've got a rather nice looking pretzel has been formed at this point. Now that we've done that, the next thing I do is I get hold of the left hand lead, which is this one here, my working end. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to weave it through the pretzel that I've created at this point here. So I'm just going to pass it so that it passes underneath the first part, over the next part, underneath the next, and then over at that point there. And what I'm going to do is just pull it through and have enough so that I end up with a loop at this point here. Now that we've done that, I then take my working end again and I pass it around over the top of my standing part at this point here. And then I go underneath that loop there, over the next so it's underneath that one there, over the next one, and then pass it down through everything. And there we have it. We've actually now, it may look a mess, but we've actually tied this off now. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my working end there and my standing part there and bring the two together and then gradually form it and you'll slowly start taking out some of the slack that's in the cordage, take out some of the slack, just work it round and you'll gradually see that we've got the starting or the make, making of a diamond and just pull that through and then take some more slack through and all I'm going to do now is go round and keep taking the slack through until we end up with the diamond or the Chinese button knot. And so all you've got to do is just keep going around, dress it up nice and tightly, but gently, not too tight, but keep going around, tightening, tightening, and you can see there's still a bit of slack in here. And all I've got to do is pull that slack out, and then we end up with a rather lovely decorative Chinese button knot. There it is, it's starting to form there, and you can now see, just squeeze it in gently, and we've got a nice Chinese button knot appearing there.